Yo, y'all already know it's cool. Come on, cool the king. We back for another video. Look, I missed y'all. 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 Yeah, no, I took a few days off. I took like a week off. Um, just you know, get to my get my mind right. I'll lock in for the content. This look like this next stretch to the end of the year. From now to the end of the year is gonna be a different grind. Now, if I again, yeah, if I take another little break, I don't want to hear anybody say anything about that. Today, today we got a fun video. Today we got a fun video. The boy. Yeah, I don't know why I said the boy. I don't know this nigga. But the nigga Jamar reacted to I think um I think it was his Ice Spice video that we reacted to last time. He posted the end of Fuzi. So I've been seeing like some random clips um surfacing. I saw that he was doing an album. I don't know too much about it. I thought Fuzi fall off was already guaranteed back when he did the crash out in the hotel. That was like months ago. So I thought his shit was done. But apparently the fall of Fuzi is getting worse because or else they wouldn't make a video. So let's check this out. We're gonna see what's happening. And you know what it is. Let's get straight into Instead of a video. So last year we talked about FouseyTube, a YouTuber who has been online for the last 14 years. The guy started out making content that was typical at the time in 2011, really leaning into his race and religion to gain a fan base. How do you Oh my god, yo, this actually unlocked a memory. Oh, old old Fousey was different. Old Fousey was actually funny. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I was when I was when I was a jit, when I was a jit and I like I seen Fousey's videos, I would laugh. I'll keep it a buck. I'm not gonna I, I, See, I'm not gonna come in here and lie and be like, yeah, fuck Fousey. His videos now, I'm, you know what? Can't say I'm the biggest fan. Send text. Doing skits, vlogs, dancing in the Apple store, making Q&A videos, and having a strange infatuation with acting like Drake. Y'all gotta ask Nicky Nicky about that one. Hmm. Waikiki. I take back what I just said. Okay, it was like, it's like a in hindsight kind of thing. You know what I mean, like when, when we were kids, that was funny. <laughs> you know, like same thing with like Fred. Oh my god, y'all remember Fred? Like, that's what I'm saying. If you watch a Fred video right now, you watch a Fred video right now, you're gonna be like, what the hell is this? Or an annoying orange. If you watch an annoying orange video today, oh, you're gonna be like, well, what was I watching? But back in the day, when we were kids, that shit was funny. It was funny. Like, we can't eat too much. That shit was funny when we were kids. It's the same thing right now. You know what? How everyone looks at like the, the brain rot content and they're like, what what is this? What are what are our kids indulging in? What are we? They have the brain rot. We had Fred, Annoying Orange, and them John. It's just the next generation of, of mindless content, let's be honest. This all gained him a decent amount of popularity online, but it wasn't until he started doing pranks and social experiments that his channel really blew up the and made him one of the biggest era. creators on the planet all yep. within a calendar year. So I'm in VidCon right now, and it was exactly like how I anticipated it to be. A bunch of people who don't know who the hell I am. I wish you guys were here, man. Why don't none of you guys come to these things? Many months later. <laughs> One thing that was that's motion. That's motion. Like, like really think about it. Really deep it. That's motion. Think about it. Just be like, yeah, that one video. Yo, I really wish y'all were here. Y'all were able to say what's up to me. Boom to everybody swarming. That's motion. That's what was very clear from the start was that Fousey was obsessed with money, material possessions, fame, status, and how other people viewed him. There is nothing more important mm. to this man than what other people think about him and getting as much attention as he can from said people. For a long time, I looked at myself in the mirror and I based myself based on what I read on the comments. I felt worthless. I felt ugly. I felt gay. I felt that no... Uh, that in these videos he was making, Fousey was... <laughs> that was a crazy... That In the moment, when that was said, when those clips started servicing, that was a crazy moment. <laughs> That was a crazy moment. He was always the good guy. He was always depicted as the hero. But over time, he would get himself involved in drama as he was exposed for faking his videos, essentially hiring actors and actresses to try and create viral moments. And to his credit, it obviously worked. Hey, I'm Shane Barbera. I was in Fousey Tube's uh, Uber prank. Um, it's fake. I'm an actor. I was in Fousey Tube's scary pizza delivery prank video. I was paid to act in it, and it's fake. This is your tip for the lab, my man. Nowadays, we're a lot more used. Bro, because I remember everything came out that he was faking. I don't remember how I knew it was like how I learned it was fake. I remember one day I was like, oh, Fousey was here. And then another day it was like, everyone was like, everyone knew that Fousey faked videos, right? Like, I don't know where, I don't remember how I knew it, but I didn't know he got exposed like that. Same thing with like FaZe Rug, you know what I mean? Like with, with the fake pranks. I don't, I don't know how I know he, like, I just know one day information just came. Everyone was like, oh yeah, FaZe Rug fakes it. And it was now fake. I don't even know how he got exposed. I just kind of ran with it. I'll be honest. That's D1 sheep mentality. But just one day I was like, oh wow, this nigga fakes his videos. No, I'm not serious. And the same thing with Fuzi. I didn't know he got exposed like that. Damn. Also, I don't think that okay. I don't think there's anything wrong 
with faking content as long as you're honest about it. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, content is just entertainment. It's just made to entertain people, right? You just, if, if you you can find the best way to entertain people, and if you think the best way to entertain someone is by hiring people, I don't think there's anything wrong with it, as long as you're honest in it. You know what I mean? In the description, be like, oh, yeah, here are the actors who are in it. At the end, be like, oh, yeah, this is, like, you know, this was a dramatized something. I don't think there's anything wrong with faking if you're honest. But when you're lying about faking and all, then, you know, that's where we get the problems. You know what I mean? That's where that's where issues start to arise, here. Right? Used to sensationalism online, but back then some of his fans were genuinely upset that he was faking these videos. But obviously Fousey did not care because he was still getting millions of views across several platforms. He still had a massive fan base and a decent reputation online. And of course he was making yeah. a ton of money while his status was rising, even getting an opportunity to have a small role in a couple of movies. What's up ladies? We're having a Halloween party tonight, so why don't you now back when he did get caught faking oh. his content it would be the first but by far not the last time we would see how weak this guy really was and how his massive ego was actually rooted deeply in insecurity. You see, Fousey has built himself up time and time again just to tear himself down. And he can never just do a typical self-sabotage job. He always has to go down like a horrific plane crash that kills dozens of innocent bystanders. I'm surprised and he does back this up. to himself every single time. Like, like so there surprised. was no one else to blame for his downfalls. It's like he's a Pokemon. Fousey has had the craziest fall offs like five, six times already. Like it's not like regular, but like he's had the craziest fall offs. But he's always here. But he's always bad. Like I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand how he just keeps coming back. Like he, like I don't know if he gets canceled. I don't know what he falls off for. But whenever I see him fall off, it's huge. It's everywhere. It's like, ah, who's going through it? And then like three weeks later, I see who's doing the craziest content. What? When, when are we just gonna pack it up? Like, and you know what? If you can keep coming back, keep coming back. But like, how do you fall off so often? And and the internet is still is like, you know what? Come on back. We fuck with you. Like, how do you do that? That's a different level of fan base loyalty. The fact that he can fall off so cons like so he he falls off so consistently and he's able to just re pick it up wherever it goes. That's on whose only move is self-destruct. Of course, there was the time he was running around stalking and pretending to be Drake. That's how you know Drake's in LA. Hey Drake, OVO! You no, know, I'm trying to look like you, dog. Is it working? No, I'm not, but some girls do call me Champagne Poppy. And saying that he was going to put on this massive event where he claimed he would delete his YouTube channel if it failed. This is where he infamously crashed out for the very first time. I have bipolar and depression. That what you put into my head made me want to Myself. He would then go on No Jumper, continuing his manic yeah. episode. Because I'm a real man and I don't need yes men on the internet to tell me who the f I am, you little this bitch. WWE guy. Put Thank the mic you, bro. Down. And overall, it was very clear that he was living in his own little sick, twisted reality. So he would later be exposed said, for like, a really bad addiction to well, paying well, for well. favors. He was allegedly spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on and massage parlor activities. I used to be addicted to massage parlors, still am. Still today. Yeah. When was the last time you went? Don't want to say. And after going crazy and losing all of his money, he would actually go away for a while. And when he did return, it was beyond clear that he didn't know what to do. So he tried to influence a boxing and got destroyed on multiple occasions. Has taken it to Fousey here. And the sad thing about it, there's no defense whatsoever. No, no. This is becoming uncomfortable to watch now. He's just not defending himself. He wanted to do like a crib style of show that only lasted a couple of episodes. And it really wasn't until he started to do in real life streaming last year when people really started to talk about him again. Some of you may remember that Fousey went f***ing crazy. He was running around with the mentality yeah. of a shitty seven year old, constantly trying to make himself a spectacle out in public. And of course there was the embarrassing incident at the yeah. airport between him and this drunk woman. You got sold in the Trade. I actually care about this shit because I'm like an advocate for like against trading and all that shit. A few minutes later, I just joined the Mile High Club. And I know it doesn't count as the Mile High Club because I was in the airport, but I still joined it. I swear to God. Yeah, that's such a crazy clip. Oh my God, that's such a crazy clip. Crazy. Okay. A few moments later. You gotta expose my I'm not a good person. And once again, it all ended horrifically with him being arrested and thrown into the loony bin. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? To me, streaming is the last thing this guy should be doing because it's a recipe for disaster. It's beyond clear that he has no control of his emotions or himself for that matter. And with his constant need for validation from strangers and- Y'all think he's doing it on purpose. 
I feel like he knows. Like, I, I'm not saying that there's no way that it couldn't be real. Like, this, all, this stuff could be real. And, and again, if he's working through stuff, I really hope he's working through it. I really hope, wish the best for him. I wish the best for every human being. I don't want anyone to be going through that stuff. That's crazy. But I've seen some of the stuff, and I'm like, what if it's not real? What if he's doing this for views? Which I think is crazy. I think it's crazier than just not doing it, but doing it for views. I don't know. You have to be a low human being to do this on purpose. In analytics, I cannot think of a job that would drive him to harm himself or others faster. And so after his arrest and his admission into the psych ward, he would once again disappear for a couple of months. Only coming back to post a very long message on Twitter, here he would basically say that he is depressed and that he never felt comfortable in his own skin. Stating that this is why he created the Fusi character as a mask to hide his true feelings and true self. And that he doesn't think he'll ever be able to escape his own sadness, saying that reflecting back on his life has made him realize that he should be a massive success, but the reality is that he failed time and time again, ruining his life and his chance at stardom in the process. Now I truly thought that that would be the last we would see of Fousey, at least when it comes to the streaming arc of his career, but a couple of weeks ago he decides to go live once again. And when I started seeing clips of this man popping up, you're him dog. And you're not him because you get views or you have money or you got a big ego or a big dick. This is how I'm coming all year. I'm a dog. I'm a pit bull. I'm a rottweiler. I was about to say, I'm like, oh, that first video, that's wholesome. Yeah, maybe you locked the book in and then... I knew it was pretty much like a car with bad tires driving in the rain, like everyone is just waiting for this thing to crash. And spoiler alert, he did. So first off, a couple of weeks ago, this dude tried to get clout by pretending to be missing, which is obviously beyond pathetic. He even got his management in on the act and I don't know, I just think the idea of pretending to be in danger to get attention has to give someone Super some bad funny. karma. I was gonna Super ask about Fousey, is he okay? We don't know. Like, I haven't heard from him. It's like the boy who cried wolf. After a while, no one gives a shit. And eventually he of course turned up and started doing his streams again. And this time on the latest episode of Fousey's Grandiose Delusions, Fousey decided that he wanted to be a rapper and claimed that he would become the biggest artist okay. on planet yeah, this Earth. Yeah, see what I seen. This what I seen. that boy just say about woo -wah. Took a long break. So he went out and got all the streaming equipment back, he hired a team to help him with his streams, and he was back like he never left. The streaming platform Kick would apparently offer him a massive deal, contingent on him not self-destructing. So Nick yeah, knows about the phone call I had, the one that I said is the biggest phone call I had, the reason I'm so calm right now, because my life has changed forever, alhamdulillah. But there's one stipulation, I have to go one week not making any negative headlines, not getting in trouble, not f***ing up, not getting canceled. Imagine guys, there is millions of dollars on the table sitting right in front of you, one and all you have to crazy. do is not act like an idiot. For one- Just don't go crazy for one week. Hey, just relax for one week and you got a kick deal. Crazy. Time period, just present yourself as an adult and don't f*** up and he couldn't do it. And in him hiring this team is where the problem really began because Fousey is a narcissist who feels way too comfortable lashing out at people and treating them like shit. He goes from saying things like this. Thank y'all so much for being a part of this genuinely. When I was younger, I used to use people. I used to use people, get what the f I needed from them and then dismiss them and never talk to them or need them again. That's what I'm saying. I didn't do it because I was a bad person. I did it because I didn't know any better. There's some clips of him where he's like, you watch him like, oh, this guy's being real genuine. You know, he's really trying to improve himself. And then you see the next clip. He's just he's wilding out. He's doing the craziest shit. And I'm like, it's it's like, damn, right? Like, cause like this clip alone, like, if you know, imagine, imagine you're a Fousey fan or you were an old Fousey fan. You know, you you locked the Fousey stuff, and you see this come up, a clip come out. He's like, yo, I've been through, I've done some shit. I fucked up. I'm really working on myself. I'm locked in. And we're like, oh my god, let me give my let me give my boy a chance. I know you do your shit. Shit happens. I get it. We're all human. Let's lock in, right? This is what you see. I was young, rich, and dumb. And then right now, after, he's doing crazy. I show so you much know? appreciation, and I hope even before me saying this, you guys have felt me give you appreciation. Just by the way, I look at you in the eyes. To fighting one of his employees after he had the audacity to complain when he was not being paid. What? Try to come to my face and I paid for with a job that was going to change your life. Shit. Yeah, it's the way it works, shit. Now obviously I had to cut the clip, but Fousey fires the guy, then degrades him, and then punches him in the face as he's leaving. The other guy had no aggression in his body language or his tone, he just really well, seemed like he was sick of this fight. guy's sociopathic behavior. And this ended up in him getting a temporary ban from Kick. Not even 
48 hours into my 24 7 30 days don't don't ask and kiss bands me don't act don't ask i don't think they banned me because of the punch no you know exactly what it is shut up stop being stupid i hate oh my god i hate when people are stupid there's no way that you you were on stream you went told all everybody also because it's a kid called you didn't have to tell everybody in the world about Right? You didn't have to go on stream and be like, yeah, all they said is that to be relaxed for 48 hours. You didn't have to say that on stream. This is your phone call you had with Kick, and that, that was not on stream. So you brought on stream, and now you want to come, yo, I'm not going to go lie. Why the fuck did they even ban me? What did I even, me? Me? They banned me? What did I do? I'm innocent. Like, shut up. Shut up. Some people, oh, that pissed me off. Some niggas just don't think. I think the industry and the people in the industry knows if we don't ban him and keep him quiet right now, He's gonna expose all of us. And that led to him releasing this absolutely pathetic video of himself crying and begging for his millionth chance. Look, but I try my best not to cry. I've been under so much stress because I'm, I am promised Eddie and Akil I wouldn't crash out like last year that my adrenaline shot up and I don't even remember the last like 48 hours. And now that I calm down, I'm realizing all the destruction that I caused. Keep in mind, this clown is now in his mid 30s, still pulling this okay. bullshit. It's I will say, mental health is no joke. Okay, people do crazy things, you know, when the mental health isn't locked in. So you know, I, I and I, I genuinely, genuinely, I pray that this man gets help because, again, I, as long as he's not doing this off for content, if he's not doing this off reviews, if whatever, right? If this is genuinely what's going on in his life, and I, which, from that clip, I don't think there's any sane grown man who's crying on his camera like that for uh, for getting a temporary ban on kick you know what i mean genuinely i hope he gets better and i hope he finds the hope that he needs and i hope he leaves the internet i feel like he should just try and stay away from that get like a management role because he knows he knows content he knows how to do content get a management role get like a behind the camera but i feel like him being the face is not for him anymore i think he needs, just needs to relax you know what i mean it's the same cycle with this dude over and over again like we know you're not sorry we know you're a narcissist addicted to attention and lusting for fame but to me the clock has really run out this guy is like a million years old in internet age and it's really time for him to get off social media altogether i don't think he understands yeah. that he's never going to reach the heights that he wants did when it comes to popularity and he is going to be used for a very long time as the prime example of someone who cannot handle the pitfalls that come with an addiction to social media fame i'm not even gonna say here and say sorry because but like i'm trying to explain to y'all like now that my adrenaline dumped and i'm back to yusuf and i open twitter and i see what pussy did i'm like yeah this guy is just a sorry excuse for a human being using this identity crisis bullshit as a shield and his mental health issues as an excuse is just beyond played out at this point this guy straight up uses and treats everyone around him like shit destroys his life over and over again and he can never take accountability for one second in his life you know i'm gonna punch you like i'll punch my ex-manager who's now suing me well, of course, he would be given yet another chance as he would get unbanned after 24 hours and he would basically go on a rampage of disrespect. He crashed out on his therapist multiple times. No, I'm not. But when you get paid, you come with respect. Yes, 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 yes. You come with respect when you get paid 100%. Because the internet went out and their job is to watch the stream and tell me it goes down. Three minutes went by, they didn't say shit. Are they in charge of the, are they in charge of the internet? Can they make it happen? No, they, but they're in charge. They, they're in charge of watching the stream to tell me when it goes down. Job and not letting me embarrass myself on the internet. You said you can't, you can't yell that one. I don't expect you to be safe. You can't. He crushed out on other members of his team. They stopped getting space. Stop hanging around them. They're bringing your work I'm, down. I'm literally discussing tomorrow's schedule with him, and I'm also ordering pizza And once for you're you. done with that, leave him. He has negative energy. He's a loser. Okay. Now she's doing what she's supposed to. I gave them all a speech before starting. Fired a cameraman in five minutes. Took his back. I'm really, again, I'm really here trying to give as much of the benefit that as I can. You know what I mean? I'm trying to take out a content creator out of the picture. As human beings, I'm trying to give them as much benefit of trying to give them as much benefit of the doubt as I can. You know what I mean? But this is right after he was crying on stream about, oh, look at all the damage I caused. I was my adrenaline was up. And he's like, 24 hours later, he gets unbanned, and then boom, it's yeah, oh, fuck you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck my therapist, fuck my manager, fuck my cameraman, fuck my this nigga needs to be off. This nigga needs to get off.
social media. It's not for everybody, and this is definitely not for him. He can't handle it. He can't handle it, and it's 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 cool. It's cool, right? Like not every job is for everybody. I'm not a doctor for a reason. You wouldn't want me. You wouldn't want me poking around inside you. Pause. So I'm just like everyone has. Everyone has their own lane. Bag off said, thank you for coming. You don't know how to work. I work the camera. Go to Chuck E. Cheese. The also, okay, I've seen so many blood clot shysties in this guy's video. What is he? Okay, what? I've been seeing this the whole video and I didn't I don't want to say nothing. Who, like, who does he think he is? He really thinks he, like, he thinks he's bottom one? He thinks he's bottom one. Like, let's get, like, bro. Like, th this is, though, all the shysties that I've seen, that clip when he was posted up with his people, that shit was so corny. That shit was so corny. Like, yo, put this... Yeah, that, that was the corny you should have seen. Wait till they see you in the studio. Right, you're back on this one. I love you, and I'm gonna try something I've never done. I swear to God, on my mother's heartbeat, you would be fired right now. And you, personally, I think I would have punched in the face. I'm being unfair? Yes. Why am I being unfair? Maybe he, maybe he was bought my... My bad. I, was, I, was, I talked too early. Maybe the man is bought my... Everything you've asked of me thus far. Have I have you? Yes, have I you? have. You're really gonna Tell stand me? on that? Yes, I am. You're really gonna stand on that? Hey, Joey, I'm sorry this is abrupt. Good morning, by the way. Once they get here, you're going to be sent home. So you can, like, when she finds out, you can ask her, thank you for your time, but I, I don't need you here anymore. And basically, he just continued to act like an absolute man-child. But don't worry, he also took time to suck himself off and call himself an internet legend on multiple occasions. I created every lane that they're walking on now. But they're driving on that freeway and they're not paying taxes to the king. Truly, I've never seen someone who has accomplished really nothing of value think so highly of themselves. Either way, his mission for self-destruction would continue and he would get a permanent ban from the CEO of Kick himself after he got upset and said that he planned to delete himself from the earth live on stream. Look at my eyes. I'm night live. Kick.com backslash Fousey. Done. All right. I text Eddie. Is that it for Fousey, question mark? Yeah, no more Fousey, man. This isn't the only time this guy has used the idea of self-deletion to try and pull attention to his stream. And I believe he only ever says this to try and get attention. I mean, this man is truly playing in the face of people who have legitimate mental health problems. And the thing is, the people around him are just laughing at this behavior. I'm glad for this shit! We have Holy shit. And now Fousey is even claiming that he will be retiring. Guess what else happens? In my yes. anger, I get banned. Yes. I yes. just lost $100 million. Good. And I said I will retire. I mean, obviously, I'm calling massive Good. cap on that. Good. Fousey retire. would even go as far as to call his own parents to let him know that he is going to be disowning them. I know, Bob. I'm just calling to tell you, you guys are never going to see me again. I'm a Muslim. You guys, you guys put me on this earth, Baba. But now I'm 34, so I'm living my own life. So, Baba... This is the last you're ever gonna see me. I live in Australia now. You guys lost me. You raised the king. I'm yeah, gonna be worth a hundred million dollars one day, 500 million, but you're never gonna see me again, Bubba. You can call me every day. Like I said, this clown really does need to log off the internet forever and just go. What the fuck was that? That is the worst thing I've ever watched in my life. What the fuck? Well, just, what, what, what did they do? Did they do? Because from what it sounded like, they were showing love. No, we want you. We love you. Where are you going? He's like, no, nah, you lost me. You're never going to see me again. I'm about to be what? I think the most important thing in this world is respecting your parents. I think that's the most important. Again, I know everyone has different situations. I'm not, I'm not getting into that. But when it looks like you have parents who have love for you, not having love back is the craziest thing to me. Yeah, he needs to get the fuck off the internet. Like, think it, this is this is nonsense. This is nonsense. And that, the problem is, this is what young people are watching. This is young, what young people are seeing getting views. This is why you're getting that new era of streamers, new era, era of IRL streamers who just do whatever for the views because of stuff like this. This is the content that they're consuming. That's it. That's what it is. It's what, whatever for views because they look, they look at this and like, well, if, if he can get views, I can get views. I do stupid things on my own because that's what kids do. Kids do stupid stuff. Kids do stuff like this. They're like, oh, if he can do it, I can just feel myself doing the same thing. I don't know. Go out there and try and make himself happy. Y'all think I'm gonna be irrelevant? First of all, guys, as long as I'm living, I'm relevant. That's a lyric on the album, by the way, the number one album in the world that I'll be performing at Coachella next year. This isn't the video, it's still coming. It's gonna be the biggest video the internet has ever seen because every mother 
is waiting to see what Fusi's going to do next. Why? Because I run this internet shit. Oh, because you're this crazy. is exactly what crazy. happens when you That's let social validation be your main motivation in life. You will never know who you truly are. You will never have true control of your emotions. And you'll never be able to make sound decisions. Truthfully, Fusi's online career has lasted way longer than it should have. And most people who blew up back when he did either faded away or lost most of their relevance. And the only time people ever cared to talk about this guy is when he's destroying his own life. And maybe that's why the cycle never ends because he knows in the back of his head that that is the only way that he can get the attention that he so desires. I don't feel bad for him at all. I don't care to see his millionth attempt to redeem himself and claim he's a new person. And I don't even care to see him crash out for the millionth time. Like, honestly, it's not even sad anymore. This whole thing has just become pathetic. No, I was but so I do want to know so what sad. you guys think about this Fusi update down below. Who's actually out there watching this guy's stream to where there's like millions of dollars being laid on the table in front of him? I do not know. No, I, I do think it's really sad. I will say, I personally think it's super sad. If he's genuinely going through some stuff, I feel really bad for him. And I hope that he gets the help needed and he gets off of social media. But I, what I think is, I think it is a mix of mental health stuff and he knows what gets him views. He knows that every time he crashes out and he falls off, that gets views. It's all over Twitter. He's all over YouTube. He's all over... He knows that when it happens, he gets views and he gets money. And as we saw earlier, he loves money. He loves views. He loves validation. So when he sees that money come in, it's like, hey, look, imagine you're bettering yourself, but you know that you have in the back of your mind that money is what runs you. So you're bettering yourself. You're like, I'm better, but right now I feel empty. So I need money. So I, got, I, I have to crash him. I have to do whatever to get this money back. But then by going off and going back into social media, he's fucking up his mental health more. It's a bad cycle, and I really hope he gets a box of it. And I hope he just locks in with his mental health. And I hope he's, hope the best for him. But yeah, uh, you already know, it's cool, Kumar, cool to K. And we, I'm going to catch up next time, right?